Once a cheater, There's always a cheater. Guys. Boyfriend loyalty test. I saw someone recommend it. I thought it would be funny for us to react to. Sending into everything. We still have a couple more cameras to set up, but these are the ones we got so far. Oh yeah. Today we're placing Naya's boyfriend DeAndre to a loyalty test. Hopefully he doesn't try to kiss me. I'm not gonna try to kiss him. Our decoy Violet will be testing DeAndre's loyalty by asking him on a date. Will he remain loyal or fumble a good woman? Nervous? Yeah. My heart feels like he's gonna pass, but my mind feels different. You do like catching cheaters. Oh shit. Hello? Hey, is this DeAndre for the Becky reservation? Oh yes, this is him. Okay, this is Nathan. Um, I'm the one that owns the house. Are we still good for five today? Yeah, this is good. I'll okay. be headed over soon. Oh, okay, no, that's perfect, perfect. Right, Dude, well, uh, you know what I don't understand, though? Because I don't think that all of this is, is staged. If you're a girl and you're dating a guy, or you're a guy and you're dating a girl, and that person even goes in the same place along with someone else of the opposite gender, you're telling me that that's not insta-cheating. Like, I don't care if nothing happens. Just like going there alone with someone, it's cheating. No, it's not. Yes, it is. If you have a girlfriend and you're going with another girl alone to like some other place that isn't like a fucking family friend you have had for like 15 years, it's cheating, dude, what? happens or anything comes up just let me know so if i'm in an elevator and a girl comes in am i cheating i'm talking about the conscious decision of actively going out of your way to be alone with someone else and shit like that i'm not talking about a chance thing in the elevator i'll be here i'll be waiting for you we'll do see you soon all right i'll see you right now yes sir uh, we're still on let's go <laughs> why are you you look so I'm nervous. I, I'm optimistic. I don't think you should be too nervous about this. I think I'm optimistic. Yeah, the guy's going to house alone with a girl. He's optimistic. The test because she's actually caught him cheating before. Yeah, he cheated on her before. She didn't want to go into too much detail about it, but she told us that they had a thing, but nothing intimate ever happened between them. I did ask if she could clarify what a thing meant, but she didn't want to talk about it. And I get it. To this day, Nia questions if taking DeAndre back was a smart move. So talking about it might make her double think even doing this test. Oh, trust me, I was At Dawn test, would you kidnap Laura to make sure she stays with you no matter what? Bro, what do you think I'd do? <laughs> like, listen, every time we come here, the first thing I do is I take her passport and I put it in a place that only I know. She's not leaving this country unless I let her leave. You know what I mean? Even when she goes to the bathroom, I have a little sensor that tells me every time she goes to the bathroom. And if she goes to the bathroom too many times, we have arguments. Right? One that I know. But number one, we gotta respect what she wants. And number two, this house was expensive. You'd be surprised how many D before or Oh, I think it's the other way around. Change my mind, chat. <laughs> no, it's like a two-way street. All right, anyways, let's keep watching. Since we've had, so yeah, we weren't about to risk losing that cash. He's already cheated. He's cheated before. What so, made you decide to take him back? I ask myself that every day, honestly. Oh my god, guys, I need to tell you the funniest story about a cheating partner. I have this family friend, okay, and sometimes she'll come because she's like uh, friends with uh, my aunt, like really good friends with my aunt. And sometimes if there's like an event, you know, like she'll be at the event, right? So like I always ask her about like how teachings going and all that kind of stuff because like I'm interested. So at one point, what happens is she had a friend who I think was also a teacher, and this friend caught her husband cheating on her, but. The the way that she caught her husband cheating on her was unreal. So pretty much the guy was sitting there and for four years straight out of their six year long relationship, he actually had an online relationship with a Colombian woman on Facebook that he never met in real life. And then what happens is she finds out because at one point he leaves his Apple watch on the table and she sees him getting messages, right? So they file for divorce, they get divorced. A year, two years later, they reconnect. And then as they start talking, the guy randomly tells her, by the way, I'm gonna be going on a trip to Colombia with my friend just to show him around. <laughs> and in her mind, she was like, oh, okay, nothing's going on here. And she really thought that the guy didn't go to Colombia just to fuck that girl he met on Facebook. How insane is that? Anyways, let's keep watching. 
is that one of the reasons you feel like you're doing this? Because you just want to like see like I want to see it if he's worth taking yeah. back type thing. Yeah, like if he's wasting my time. I feel you. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't know. I I talked to the girl. Uh huh. And yeah. You talked to the girl. I called her. What? I talked to her. Oh, so that's how you confirmed it, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Cheating is cheating no matter what degree. And since the incident, DeAndre's saying that he's changed and that he's different. Nia wants to put that to the test. Obviously, we have history. So I have like a weak spot for him, but... Is he like working towards fixing everything though? He's he's yeah, he's making a consistent effort. Has he ever lied to you like about anything since then? You, or you feel no, like he's talking about girls? No, not that I know of. No. Mm -mm. Do you believe in the saying, once a cheater, always a cheater? I don't want to believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, like going into this test, do you feel like he's gonna cheat or you think he's gonna pass? Why is her hairline like that? Okay, I need to tell you guys the realest thing I'm ever gonna say in my life. Everyone makes fun of men for having bad hairlines, but the truth is that women have the most dog shit disgusting hairlines ever. If you ever tell a woman to pull her hair back, 80% of the time, she would have the kind of hairline that would make your friend get slapped in the face if he had that same hairline. If men had the same hairline that 80% of women do, they would get slapped in the face and not even been trolling. Women have literally the worst hairlines ever out of out of any like species. It's gonna pass, but my mind feels different. So then today, like what would be like a fail? Show us like, your hairline? Mine's good. Mine's actually decent. Be like he gets her number. numbers, it's over. Okay, what if he's just being like too friendly? <sighs> That's what I'm saying. Like, it's because of the past. It's, it's, it's yeah. really, like, tough. I feel like I can't give him any grace. Like, there's yeah. no benefit of the doubt. I mean, he put you through some shit, so. Exactly. Number, Instagram, mm -hmm. any it's hard. contact, it's over. Yeah. I don't know. I couldn't. But, you know, it shows character that you're trying to give him a second chance. Yeah. So hopefully he doesn't f*** it up. I just want to make sure, like, I don't push any boundaries or anything. So um, is there anything specific you don't want me to do? Um, honestly, I want you to just do you. And I want to see him. Okay. If I'm being real, this test is an uphill battle. It might be unpopular to say, but I do believe some people deserve a second chance. However, that doesn't mean that you're what? just gonna trust them. How can this guy say personally like he Bro, who a deserves a second chance when it comes to cheating? Even if your like wife gets in a car accident and she goes in like a coma for a year. You know what I mean? Like worst case, worst case, you just watch You know what I mean? But not yeah, so. It's like if you break a mug, I'm like you can kind of glue it together, but it's not gonna be the same anymore. No, exactly. Part of me almost wants him to fail so that she can like move on, Get because I just like feel like she already deserves better than what she's putting up with right now. And she seems like she's like down for him. Like she seems like a ride or die. Like I get that vibe from her. She probably just still has that attachment and like needs to really see it is what I think. I hope he passes because it just, it just shows that people can change over time. I don't know. I'm not I, saying he won't pass. Yeah. I'm just saying if it was me, there wouldn't be that second exactly. chance. Dude, I'm gonna be honest, this is a good beard look. I like this beard look. The fade beard is actually good. Not making it go up all the way and making it so it like spawns here. This is a good look. I'm yeah. just saying if it was me, there wouldn't be that second exactly. chance. Exactly. You could do a lot of things but if you cheat, that's, that's when exactly. it's over. We'll have Nathan give him a call in a little bit Bye. to make sure that he's still gonna be coming later today. And Bye. yeah. Question, do you want to get him? Do you want to catch him? I want to not waste my time. I would want for him to love me and Impass not embarrass him. me, but... What's up, Yui? Honestly, I'm just... I'm like 50-50, so it's like... How do you think you'd react if he fails? I'm gonna be pissed. You'd be pissed? I'm gonna be pissed, but I don't think I'm fully prepared. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna react. I don't... <laughs> I mean, realistically, though, that? realistically, let's be honest here. If the guy fails the test, it's her fault. Why is she trying to set him up? What kind of fucking toxic relationship does she want? She's the real problem in this relationship. What? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, a whole nother side is gonna come out. Wow. Yeah. What about if he passes the test? Then we're together, ready to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> After confirming DeAndre would still be coming over later today, we confirmed that everyone involved in our plan understood their roles. I honestly hope DeAndre pulls through and passes. He's got a lot of making up to do, so hopefully he can turn down our decoy and start showing Nia that he truly is a changed man. But I don't understand. Why did he agree to go there? You know, the good thing is we're three stories up, but then also the waves. Yeah, oh yeah. It's so yeah. loud. Even if we're loud, I don't think they'll be able to hear us. With everything and everyone set up and ready to go, all we had to do was wait for DeAndre to arrive. Nervous? Yeah. Hello? 
Oh, all right. I think he's here. Ah, Dantes, how much orb would I gain by ghosting everyone and coming back three years later as a millionaire? You wanna know what the truth is, Philip? You'd ghost everyone. You'd make absolutely no progress in three years. You would hate your life. You would be literally dead broke. And then you'd sit there and the only thing you'd be three years later is friendless with no one around you. <laughs> Real. <laughs> yeah, this is him. Okay, perfect. Um, I should have room in the driveway. Just park on uh, like the left or the right side. Just leave room for me to pull out. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. I'll meet you up right now then. Bye, like Kyle. DeAndre has arrived. DeAndre has arrived. Oh gosh. I'm much more nervous about this parking job than I am about this. <laughs> oh, there he is. This is it. Bro, this what is, is that car? Oh, please don't park too close. That's all I'm being It looks kind of chill. You know, I didn't even like pass my driver's test. But how do you have your license? The guy who was testing me, he was like, you drove on the wrong side of the road, you didn't stop at this sign, you did this, that, whatever. And then the third time, I think he just fell back. <laughs> and that's... <laughs> so I'm glad you could make it. Uh, yeah, was there any, like, uh, difficult to get here or anything, finding the place? No, it was pretty smooth. It was about an hour and a half drive. I come from down south, but... Oh, yeah, you're gonna like this place, I'm yeah, telling you. Nice, man. This is, like, when I'm in town, this is usually where I party at. I mean, dude, we got balconies right here. We have another one under there. We got like rooms up top. We have some under. So it's gonna be a really cool spot. Wow, yeah, I uh, if you want, you can sit down on the couch. I've got a few rules, dude. Nothing crazy. I'm pretty chill here for the most part. I mean, I party here myself. But why is he younger. here though? I mean, That's what I want to know, bro. So I know how it gets. I know how it gets. Hey, Violet, you're good to make your entrance. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pumped up. Dude, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So pumped up. Oh my God. The main thing for me, bro, is just don't smoke inside. You can play music, you know, have fun, everything around 11. Just turn it down. You don't got to turn it off, but you know what I mean? Still have your fun. To get DeAndre here, Naya told him that her supposed friend's Becky rented Nathan's Malibu Airbnb for a wild party. And then another thing, too, is just no pets in here. You know, I don't want any fur or anything. Get on the couch. It's a brand new. Naya told DeAndre that Nathan wouldn't be handing over the keys without going over some house rules with Becky. Unfortunately, though, Becky couldn't make it to this orientation, so she asked Naya oh, okay, so makes sense. Out, Naya couldn't make it either, but she asked DeAndre to go in her place, knowing he would be available when I was up. For Wait, guys, this guy's literally the six-five light skin. Unironically, the final boss. Yeah, mainly, man, just have fun, turn up a little bit, have one room upstairs, kind of off limits, you guys. Okay, there's there's just no way. You're gonna need to back up and then go in. Okay, hold on. This is scary. As you all know, though, there was no Becky and there was gonna be no party. We just made up this entire story to get DeAndre to come over. Violet, you're doing fantastic. I think, honestly, I'm starting to feel a little more confident okay. that he's gonna okay. pass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Violet manages to park one and two needed later and Kyle slips his way into the garage. Yeah. One and two is where, like, Oh, someone's here. I'll be right back. All right, here comes Violet. Here comes Violet. Hi. Hi. I'm oh. here for Becky. Oh, really? Someone's actually here already checking in. Oh, is Becky here? No, it's actually not Becky. It's a guy. Uh, you uh -oh. know him, I guess. He's with you guys, um, so. Oh, hi. Hey, are you here for Becky? She sends you too? Um, she literally told me to come here, like, last night. One second. Yeah, I just got Let me see. call today. Huh, okay. Honestly, it's probably better anyways I have both of you guys me, here, so. Let me check my message. For sure. The imaginary Becky supposedly asked Violet to also come pick up the keys, but since Naya told her that DeAndre was coming in her place, Becky told Violet not to come anymore. Oh, she did tell me. I message is not seeing the message. Don't pay attention, huh? No, it's all good. Honestly, it's oh, better anyways. Shit. I was just showing them kind of like the balcony right here. I was gonna give them a tour of the rest of the house too, run down some of the rules, so probably better I got both of you guys here anyways, you know, okay. just in case. I have two people to listen to it. Now we don't even blame if something goes wrong. I'm saying we just throw it on her. I know you turn up though. I can see. I can know you like to turn up though, but at least there's two of you guys listening. So yeah. why is he laughing? Why is he laughing at his jokes? Nathan's coming. That's out. like cheating. If your partner laughs at someone else's jokes, it's like chill. But yeah, like I said, I was telling him to smoke outside. Even the balcony down here that I'm about to show you, you can even smoke down there. Nathan's character was meant to break the ice between Violet and DeAndre and set the tone for the rest of the test. So like I said, this is like the little bigger balcony for me. You know what I'm saying? You guys can kind of chill here there's enough room for everything if you guys have too many people someone gets too drunk i don't want you guys obviously to drink and drive you guys have an extra yeah. little mint room over here as well so i still have three other rooms up there though so you guys got plenty of rooms you know what i'm saying if you guys turn up yeah plenty but of how room. retarded would this guy be to cheat on his girlfriend with this girl who's friends with her friend like already if you're cheating you're a retard like if he does this he's just like 10 times a retard the crash wi-fi is on the fridge i think or it might be on the counter for you i know you probably want to take a little instagram photo yeah, your little instagram you model know. you feel me and then right here 
Yeah, Ooh. straight to, yeah. I mean, you could literally just walk down there if you wow. had wanted to, so. I have a business meeting right now coming up, so I'm gonna get out of here. Okay. Other than that, yeah, like I told you guys too, those couches are brand new, so please, 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 if you guys are gonna do like body shots, do it over there on the counter. <laughs> what the? Does I have the keys to get you guys? Probably give it to, oh no, you look like, bro, you look, I don't know, man. You gonna turn up, I want you to turn up. I don't want you to have the responsibility of the keys, bro. You're right, you're right, you're right. I got it. You got it, okay. And there's a bottle opener on there too for you guys. So, you know, just enough to work with. Okay. But it's a body yeah, shot. It's when you put a shot of alcohol on someone's body and then you just go in like you take it off. Does that make sense? Yeah. Fun, don't have too much fun. Well, you have my number too. Yes. Do you have my number? Uh, yeah, I got you. So if anything goes wrong, just call me. Bye. I'm still gonna be like kind of in town, so. I mean, he's literally just there for the key. So hopefully he quickly. <laughs> Or I guess this is what he he says. The ones we did were when girls. <laughs> okay, I guess I guess that's I guess that's another one. I don't know. I never heard of that one. He says, "I gotta take off." He's funny. Yeah. I like it. Our plan is designed though to move quickly and keep him there, but hopefully he. Yep, you should be leaving. Yeah, honestly, I thought I was gonna be the only one here. <laughs> yeah, she told me to come by to get the keys last night, but I guess she must have told me not to come anymore. Like I saw, and I just didn't see it. But honestly, it's for the best. Yeah. I didn't really want to go to work today, anyways. So. You caught up. Yeah, but cut the small talk. Nathan broke the ice perfectly between Violet and DeAndre, setting up the rest of this test beautifully. As instructed, he sneakily joins Kyle in the garage. Oh, he shit! Like, I meeting him today, like, I feel like he felt chill, cool, but I can see how he can get girls, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, on my way here, I was texting, well, not texting, I was on the phone with my boyfriend, well, my ex-boyfriend. Yo, you guys know just, like, motherfucking dog! He's don't. being, like, a dick right Best now. Yeah. So, I think this is gonna be good to, like, take my mind off things. Okay. So oh, why are you interested? So, Maudi. DeAndre walked right into our plan. I mean, either way, Violet was gonna bring this up, but it coming from him shows how comfortable he's gotten with her. Violet explains that the reason that she didn't see Becky's text to not come get the keys anymore was because she was arguing with her ex-boyfriend. He's supposedly trying to take back the dog that he gifted her for her birthday. And he literally doesn't even take care of it, so I don't know why he all of a sudden wants it so bad. Like, what is he, a counselor? What would you want him to say right now? I would want him to say, look, Hope everything works out with that. I gotta get going. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to have a good weekend, not deal with all that drama. I don't know why I'm already throwing that onto you. What was your name, by the way? Sorry. I'm DeAndre. My name is Violet. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice shit! You. He's so friendly, giggly ass. Look at him just cheesing. How long were you planning on being here, by the way? Because I just have some stuff in my car. I was wondering if maybe you could help me grab it. I'll be here for a minute, sure. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's just like, my bag, some drinks, and cause like party. <laughs> mm -mm. DeAndre wasn't leaving, but it's only partially his fault. I mean, our test was designed to keep him there. It was moving fast. Our plan was meticulous and everything would connect soon enough. Chad, type one if you think he ends up cheating. Type if you don't. Now had to start wanting to take photos. To give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he liked the house so much that he's yeah. down to like chill. Like, check it out a I'll little bit. I'll be here a minute. What? But yeah, I'm super excited. I'm gonna have to take like a bunch of pictures. Like that's insane. Um, I don't want to hit your car, sorry. Okay, All right, sounds good. Is your confidence in him going down? It's like he's not technically not doing anything wrong, but I don't like it. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, you're really strong. <laughs> it's not heavy for real. No, it is pretty heavy though. I'll get the door. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> no, I'm super excited. Oh, it's so shit. Sad. I've never, ever been to like a house like this before. Yeah, no, this is my first time coming to something like this, it's too. It's so pretty. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to maybe take some pictures. The plan is for Violet to lure DeAndre outside to the beach. That is where she'll eventually be making her move. I feel like right there should be fine. Thank right you. Here? Yeah, thank you. Sure. Thank you. I'm just going to take some pictures. It's so pretty. Actually... I don't, again, I don't know how long you're planning to stay here, but could you do me like a huge favor? I really want to take some pictures here. Do you think you could help me take some? I really thought down there would be like good to like kind of like show off, look nice. Down. If you're down to like go to the sand with me, maybe we can take some down oh, there. Oh, you want to take photos in the sand? Yeah, if that's okay. Just like, I don't know, you don't have to. I totally get it. Say no, she's giving you a cop out. I don't know, it's so beautiful. Like I just, I have to, okay, I want to do it before like everyone gets here and I don't want to, you know. Oh, yeah? shit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab my Oh, shit. It's so pretty. I'm super, super excited. No, I needed this. <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna get the drinks too, just cause like, he's being too friendly. What do you think of that? 
He's being way too friendly. Yeah. Like way too friendly. Gotta bring some stuff for my pictures, make it look like I'm having fun. You don't excuse this as, it's just a favor, he's just trying to be nice, no? I mean, he is doing a favor, but he doesn't have to. He had a choice. Yeah, true. You know, so why, <laughs> Like, what she you wants want? him to be a bad sound. guy. Sound should be a red flag to him too. He's, He's just being a good thing. guy. It looks so gorgeous out here. Mm -hmm. It's super, super pretty. Can you help me carry this? Yeah, Thank I you. <laughs> All right, Kyle, Nathan, they're going to the beach. You guys are gonna come upstairs. Over. Oh, the pictures are gonna look so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think so. No, I gotta show off this weekend, especially with what my ex is trying to do. I'm gonna post up looking good and stuff. Revenge plot. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, oh. shit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're so sweet. Thank you. I'm going to take my sandals off. DeAndre basically saw through our plan. You'll see what I mean soon, but will this mean that he'll remain loyal? Yeah, I'm going to set this down and then we can start taking some. I'm not going to lie here. He seems like a polite, friendly, and just an overall good person here, but maybe that's just a friend. But wait, what, what do they mean he saw through the plan? He truly was just a one off mistake, and that's not really who he truly is. Good, I'm not really a photographer. Yeah, let me see. At the same time, though, I can see DeAndre being too overly friendly and using his charm to just get what he wants. Hopefully, just hopefully, he can pass this test and start regaining Naya's trust. Oh, fuck. There's about to be even more Violet trauma. has convinced DeAndre to help her take some photos at the beach to supposedly make her ex-boyfriend jealous. He's so friendly. How do you think he's going to do now? My confidence is low. Your confidence got lower? Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah. So, like, that. that way we can see the beach, you know? Yeah. I see how DeAndre might be being a little too friendly. However, it's not necessarily a bad thing that he's helping Violet take some photos. He might just be in a good <laughs> mood. Remember. Yo, cancerous, boys. I'm driving still love the Dante's dream oh hopefully you fucking survive your car ride bro nathan did break the ice between them making them super comfortable with each other and the overall excitement of there being a party here later tonight probably has him in high spirits this is crazy yeah he's like a personal photographer or something yeah wait can you turn around i'm gonna change really quick because i want to like make it look like i'm on the beach don't look don't look no. Violet makes the Bro, turn what? to get more comfortable. I'm not looking so out there. Mic pack as she does. Uh, sorry, just adjusting myself. Oh no, y'all definitely. Okay, guys, can I work now or no? Definitely teasing this man. We're teasing. All right, I'm decent now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you good. Here, can you take some? I just want to, like, you know, show everything off. Okay, can you take a peek? I was looking at Twitch chat. And so with that, the shut up! I was looking at Twitch chat, you fucking morons. I kind of want some, like, sitting down too, maybe like this. Oh wait, I want my drink too. So it looks like I'm like having fun. This is crazy. Like this is crazy. Bro, even if he didn't cheat before, like how friendly he is. Like, Guys, is shut so up! Funny. You guys are retarded. Look at him. <laughs> it's a ball like, on you. And did you get the so, shots from there? Mods, from around the ball, stop. He's overly friendly on yeah. this. Like, he's over here, like, going out of his way to hit all the angles for him and stuff. Yeah. Violet eventually suggests that DeAndre take photos of her a little further down the beach, which wasn't part of our plan, but, I mean, whatever made this thing more realistic. Oh, damn, they're getting into it, into it. Look at that, they're walking away. They're out of our frame. You got them there, Andrew? Yeah. Okay. Maybe some of me, like, sitting, you think? Here, let me do that. Maybe some, like... Wait, why are they taking so many photos? Oh, That's what I don't understand. Like, why are they literally taking like 20 or 30 fucking pictures? So good. Thank you. Think I did good? So far, Ballet had hit every single point in our plan. She now only had one more to go. I kind of have an idea. Um, don't, like, I don't know. Give me, let me see your hand. Yeah, let me see. Hold on. <laughs> Oh <laughs> shit! I can say no, but I have like a really like look at how cute that. I have a really funny idea. What? You know how I'm like kind of mad at my ex right now. What if we just took some pictures? Like I won't show your face or anything. Like it just be like our feet, our hands, like on the beach, and then I put them like on my story or something and make it look like I'm like soft launching us. What do you mean? We take some pictures where maybe it looks like we're a couple, just to like make him jealous, make it look like we're together. So, like if he sees my story and he sees me with a guy, I don't know. I'm sorry, oh, I'm being okay. crazy. I'm just mad about the dog. And I don't know. I feel like it. <sighs> Let's do it. Yeah, you're down. Oh, you're the best. Is <laughs> he for real? DeAndre agrees to help oh, her further make her supposed boyfriend jealous by taking some cute couples photos with her. Let me like look up some ideas really quick. Mm -hmm. I feel like. We could do this one? Okay, okay hold on. A heart. Yeah, wait, that's so cute. 
And with that, our entire plan has come full circle. And uh, a part of me honestly feels like this plan was too well constructed. Seriously, go back and rewatch how everything connects. I feel like he can save himself by just saying he has a girlfriend. Yeah, he could if he wanted to, but he doesn't. Has a purpose to get us to this moment. That's so cute. <laughs> okay, wait, let's do one with our feet. In a way, I Bro guess is not like cheating, he's fake cheating. Okay, let me explain something to you. What? <laughs> Show them. <laughs> I like it. Me too. Can we get an Amster? Maybe. Yay! Yay! <laughs> high five! High five! <laughs> Yay! Hamster! Yeah, hamster and cat. Are you want to react? Yeah. Alright, come sit. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> entirely his fault that he's here doing this but at the same time at any moment he could have said no this is embarrassing yeah i mean there's just certain mistakes if you have cheated on your girlfriend in the past you can't afford to make these he type of mistakes cheated? he should have been yeah. in and out got the key what are you doing okay wait let's take it like sitting down at the end of the day though deandre technically yes, hasn't sir. cheated yet so yes <laughs> you could no, make the that's, argument that's that the only reason he's taking these couple's that's photos with like violet is because of our plan we'll give him that one next to mine so we're like matching there we go. Maybe we could do one with the drink so it looks like we're like, you know? Damn, he took a drink. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no. Nah. Our Yo, plan will allow Violet to be from him, but the choice to stay loyal will be DeAndre's. She isn't going to force him to do anything. So if he agrees to go on a date with her, that's all on him. Oh, my gosh, wait. These look so good. Oh, my gosh. It's going to make him so mad. <laughs> I want to feel comfortable with this. Oh, we look so cute. So. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> hey, I kind of love them. <laughs> yeah, that's fire. They're fire. Honestly, like, not so, you know, but I just, I just think that, like, oh, no. Nah. Oh, they too no, close. That's too close. Oh, no. That's too close. That's a wrap for sure. Like, it's been a wrap. Mm. It's been a wrap. Yeah, he looks like he's trying to. He looks single. This is what this is like. I don't know. Like, I had all that happen with him. And then I came here today, and like Becky this didn't show up and everything, and now we're here together. What? Of the Noah situation. Wait, Noah J? Yeah. Why? What do you do? I reacted to the girl that cheated with him. Oh yeah, what happened? That Leslie girl. Yeah. How they cheated? Like she's a homewrecker and he's a cheater. <laughs> but I have a question. Yeah. Is it really the homewrecker's fault, or is it just entirely the fault of the person that allows that to happen? It's both people's fault, but I would say the fault lies more within him. But she's morally seen still a homewrecker. You're so smart for your age. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> dad, that teaches me, Dad. No, don't, don't no, I do, no, 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 I do Thanks, not. Thanks, Dad. Stop calling me that. Stop, stop calling me. I that. get abused. <laughs> okay. Anyways. And I don't know. I think like, yeah, like I don't know. I kind of think like, <laughs> almost like day, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not 14, I just turned 13. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Stop. Take that back. Take it back. Okay, I take it back. Okay. How old do you want me to be? <laughs> as old as you are. Uh, <laughs> I think we look really good together. I don't know. Like, we're hanging out here this weekend. I don't know, maybe. I mean, like you said, it might be like fate. <laughs> yeah. It's fate. I mean, what? Tonight, just like, like us being born in the same family. Hang out, be down. Yeah, I'd be down. We could use tonight to maybe <laughs> so get to know one another, like, see things go. I'm down. Yeah, like, you know, I just got out of a relationship, so nothing too serious. If it, like, leads to that, sure, but, like, you know, just, like, get to know each other, see like where fun. it goes. Yeah, yeah. I'm with that. Yeah, you're with that. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're single? You don't have a girlfriend or anything? Nah. Nah? <laughs> okay. I don't even want to hear this. <laughs> Damn. He has small boobies. <laughs> yeah, you're chilling. You don't I have to listen. Him. Maybe you have like a fling or something. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. That's all. Yeah. You're in my fun stage. You're in your fun <laughs> stage. My hot boy. Oh, you're in your hot boy era. Okay, I see Ew. you, hot boy. <laughs> oh yeah, you're hot oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we're just like hang out tonight, see where it goes, mm -hmm. see what happens. Yeah, I'm open to that. Yeah? And just like that, DeAndre has failed this test. Okay, well, I'm down to hang out here for a little bit longer before the night. Yeah, for before, sure. Before, you know, the night starts and everything. Okay. I'll get your number real quick. Okay. 
And he had to finish it off with a number, damn. He asked for a number? Yeah. He asked for her number. Yeah. He asked for her number. Wait, as if all that wasn't oh enough God. that she needs to hear that too. Wrap this up. You know what I want to know is like, what is his damn plan? Can He's telling her that they can kick it at the party, it? but then yeah, you will. guys are coming together <laughs> to the party. Supposedly. Oh, I'll put you on game real quick. He's Thought gonna probably try to smash right now. Go home. Probably come up with a reason why not to come back for both of them and try to just keep both of them on the side, you know what I mean? And another thing too, I mean, he's probably still doing this when you're not watching, you know what I'm saying? You just have cameras set up right now, so that means he's probably still doing this. No inhale, you want to keep this going? Just for the audience, you don't want to keep he it going? No. no. So you want to go down there and confront yes. him and everything? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Idiot. Show I've been ready to go. Been. Yeah. Been. This test was wild, and honestly, guys, I was really rooting for DeAndre to pass. I was hoping he could prove to Naya that he had a change and that he was going to be different. But I guess but things are things for happen? a reason, right? Once a cheater, uh, always a cheater. Pretty adventurous, I guess. Oh, yeah? What's the craziest thing you've done on the beach? Craziest thing I've done? I don't know. Like, oh, yeah, see, he's trying to put his arm around her, but not really do it. I hope you guys got your talkies for this one, because you got Whoa, she has a fat ass. <laughs> this not valid anymore. Be good. Whoa! <laughs> I like this! Yes! Jiggle it! Do it doesn't jiggle! Watch faster. It's a push, I got you. I got you. <laughs> and she's stupid. I like what it. What the f are you doing? What the f is this? What are you doing? What the f are you doing? What the f are you doing here? What is this? We're man. exposing you. Exposing We're exposing you. For what? For being a f cheater and a liar. How am I a cheater? You're, you're still on the beach drinking. <laughs> Taking pictures. She double cheated. You said you would never cheat on me again. I didn't cheat on me again. You said you would never cheat on me again. I don't even know this girl. You said you would never cheat on me again. You gagged. You gagged to have me back. What the f is this, bro? You got some camera crew? Yeah. For what? The world is about to see how much you're a liar. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? Like you stalking me. How do you feel? What type of bullshit is this? How do you feel? You stalking me now? What you do? Follow me here? Listen, you were supposed to get the keys. Bro, I got the keys for you, did I not? Why are you sitting here at the beach? And I got a phone number as well. Taking pictures and shit. Coming and stalking me here on the beach? Because you're a cheater. How did I cheat on you? You begged to have me back. You begged. When did I cheat on you? You begged. Now you're sitting here taking pictures, drinking with a whole nother girl. Talking about you're going to see her. You're going to see her later and all this Bro, what, what the, the f are you on? So DeAndre, so just to let you know, this entire thing was a loyalty test. Your girlfriend wanted to find out if you were loyal to her. Yeah. Obviously, you cheated on her in the past and stuff, and yeah. so she wanted to so see you if you would cheat again. That none of their business. The world's gonna know now. The, the reality is, like, none of this was real. This entire thing was w was just made up and stuff. Nathan <laughs> really live here. Yeah, you're a joke. There is no Becky. <laughs> Becky doesn't exist. Violet's Whoa. not really her friend. Like everyone was just in on it. Oh, I see, understand like, now. Or not. You don't trust me. That's I don't problem. trust you. No. How can I? How can you? Maybe you should watch your hot ass friends. Wait. Oh. Wait. oh wow. Wait. Do you think it's her fault for not trusting him, and that's why he did what he did? No, you know he was just getting the number to be nice. He wanted just to spend some time with her to give her emotional support, like Noah did. And when he said. He's single, he just wanted to protect her. He's a real one. Wow. Oh, wow. Have you ever thought about this? Maybe you like getting cheated on. Oh, I like getting cheated on? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you like being a cheater Bro, and a liar. And a liar. You're a liar. It looked like it. Look like what? Maybe you should get in the water, you whale. Oh, you got me. Oh. Uh, you got me. Oh. You got me. Oh. Say that oh. again. Say it again. Beat him up. Say it again. Oh, you got me. Yeah. I really thought she was gonna. Oh my god, in Dandelion, it must be the last one of the season. Kudos to her for not grabbing him by the hair. Wow. It's up the stairs. Wow. It's up the stairs. <laughs> you make a left. Party's over. Uh, she'd be over. Are these, the are these the shoes? Which I'm ones are so shoes? Done. Yeah, are these I'm the shoes? so done. I'm so done. He didn't do I'm anything. so done. He just DeAndre, you left really? your shoes, man. I you know what would you have done in that situation? Oh, I would have been a good little sister and just like taken my knife out and cut your throat, you bitch ass. <laughs> you would have what? You would have told me jump in the water, though, like the whale you are would say, let me cut that throat out and then fucking jump into the pile of blood and swim in it, bitch ass.
So you would stab me and slice my throat open? No. No. <laughs> Why are you smiling? <sighs> okay, that was too cute of a yawn. It's like cheating. Now you gotta die. I have a double chin. <laughs> 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 You can have your shoes, bro. We're not trying to take your shoes. You don't want your shoes? How did she be mad? Like, he said, the cross. You did this to your self. What did you do to this man? Is he mad? DeAndre was going home barefoot. He was leaving and ditching his Crocs. <laughs> I don't know oh, what was going through his head, bad. but in the end, he yep. did end up coming back for them. But I think <laughs> that's because he realized he also forgot his phone. Violet ended up finding it in the sand. Throw it in the water. Your Crocs are right here, bro. Nobody's trying to take a Crocs. That's phone? Give me his phone. Give me his phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For fun? Nobody's, Nobody's trying to take anything. No. You like your phone no. too? <laughs> Do what? Look at this some more. You stalking yeah. ass. Yo, you guys know oh. motherfucking Yo, Donald. Best hacker. No, that doesn't world. even do anything to the phone. Stupid ass. Go get your phone. Go get your phone. Dad. Go in the water. <laughs> the camera. Look for it. He's Look behind you, bro. Stupid ass bitch. <laughs> you forgot anything else? You actually, yeah. Go leave. Leave. Like you always do. Go leave. Go leave. I don't give a f you. 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 I should grab him by his nappy ass hair. You. She be talking. At least got them dusty ass rocks for you. Thank God that this man only came back for his Crocs, his phone, and unfortunately to throw a couple more insults. Because honestly, I feel like this thing had the potential to just escalate into something else. Also, too, you can tell Naya was there to just stand on business. She walked into the sand, heels and all. This woman. 